Good evening, everybody. Well, it's not Thanksgiving yet, but I, like I said, I'm already in the Christmas mood. I have the red candle up, and I wanted to do a little talk this evening about something that's been on my heart. Um, it's not necessarily a rant, though it could be, but, you know, we're ever growing, and we're always learning, right? So, tonight's message this evening is... To teach your children something that wasn't taught to me, that I had to actually learn on my own. And that is, sometimes relationships don't work out. And this is, this is meaning not just, you know, between a male and a, and a female. This goes to, like, family members that could be, you know, two women... A man and a man, just relationships, friends, a boss, even to the point of it could be a teacher. A teacher sometimes really will pick a class pet, which isn't, they should, but they get along with them and the other children are just striving for like, well, why don't they want me or why don't they accept me? So I would encourage people to not take the hard, you know, rocky, road I have taken in life that if a person isn't treating you right and that you're never doing anything right and there's always a problem it's because you didn't accept them trying to not hurt your feelings but I noticed that some people I mean you can play hard to get right but if you're like after somebody to always want to pay attention to you or somebody to just like acknowledge you and you keep trying and trying and it's just it's the same problem. Something's wrong. You can't communicate. Sometimes the person's being rude and mean to you because you haven't taken the hint that it's not working. You haven't taken the moment to think. You know, if I would just remove myself from the situation, things would be a lot more peaceful in my life. So I've had to do that in my family. And you have to do it in love. You can't do it in hate. You can't do it angry. But you just remove yourself. And there's peace that comes. Now, I'm not saying ghost. And I'm not saying be mean. But a lot of times in life, people really just don't accept the fact that the reason people are being rude to you and mean to you, I'm sure you've made mistakes and you'll keep going over, why don't they like me? What did I do wrong? If only I did this right. If only I'd have done that right in my marriage that failed. If only I would have done this different in my relationship with my sister, a cousin, you know, family members, my boss, my teacher, anybody. If someone continually is being rude to you, you need to step back and you need to actually ask yourself, is it worth it? But not mean. Just let it go. Walk away from them and just be able to, you know, I like this little Christmas candle here, um, be able to handle that, you know. I find there's a lot of peace when you're able to do that. Now, I didn't learn that for uh, many years. And uh, I can blame people. I can go back and say, well, you know, I was codependent. And where did that come from? And I can follow and chase that root and cut it and break it. But until I had to be honest with myself and realize that it was my fault, because if somebody in a relationship is continually being kind of mean to you, that's because they really don't want to tell you they don't want you around. That you're just, you know, you're not kind of like blending very well. So in love, you just step back. Don't call them anymore. And uh, if they're on your Facebook, it's healthy to remove a friend like that because if they care, they'll come back. And then you don't need to tell them you did that for that. You'll just say, oh, hello, how are you? But it's something that we need to really realize. Like you drive down the freeway, domestic violence. Somebody leave. One of the people needs to walk away. If you have to do that with family because you're nice to somebody, you, you can't figure out how come they're still having problems with you, just remove yourself. It's a lot easier, and do it in love, all right, this holiday. 
It's okay. Just don't do it angry. Do it in love. And then you'll find a peace. And you know, the Lord gives us peace. He, he doesn't want us to be around everybody. But the people you are around that you share love and memories and they're there for you. Let's focus on them this holiday and pray for the others you've walked away from. Hey, it's Pamela saying, wake up to that, realize it, and uh, it'll be a better day for you. Bye now.